All right, guys, today this is going to be a little bit of a question and answer video where I want to know what you guys think of what is the most useful blade shape for everyday carry. As you guys can see with my collection here, I have many more different types of blade shapes, but I pulled out a pretty good amount of different blade shapes, and I want to know what you guys think is the most useful or most beneficial, best blade shape overall for an EDC knife and today we're leading into what I think is mine or which ones I like the most. Now undoubtedly like many things in everyday carry I think there's a level of personal liking to a blade so I tend to personally fancy um, recurved blades quite a bit and so I'm a little biased to them myself but overall they are admittedly probably not the best utilitarian blade shape but I do genuinely think that from a sheer point of utility unless we're talking about food prep where this kind of trailing or very large elongated belly is king I think that by and large I really do genuinely like a good Warncliffe now this is a little bit maybe what you consider a modified Warncliffe on my Gavco nurse but undoubtedly a generally like general purpose um, Warncliffe is going to have for the most part a pretty flat blade with that very um, sharp pointed tip and I think why this ends up being one of the better EDC or EDC friendly kind of um, blade shapes as a whole is because when it comes down to it, I think at least for me personally, I find myself for the most part with um, EDC knives just opening things or cutting packages open, um, cutting packages open, breaking packages down, cutting things open, you know, like if you're trying to get into a bag of chips or a bag of food as a whole, you know, having something that has a very sharp, a very pointed tip that is very fine ends up being very useful. And moreover, too, it's kind of undeniable that Warncliffs, I think, take a lot of their inspiration from, like, box cutters, and box cutters are very, very utilitarian blades. Obviously, most of them are designed for breaking down boxes, as the name implies, so undoubtedly there is a lot of utility kind of premise behind the nature of a Warncliffe blade. But the other reason why I really like Warncliffe blades, at least for most knives uh, that are Warncliffe's, is very easy to choke up on that tip, and this helps you with two things. One, of course, it is precision, so you have a lot of control over the very tip of that knife, but also, too, it helps with pressure. So if you're trying to cut something, whether you're trying to put more pressure or less pressure on what you're cutting, say you're trying to cut, you know, just the tape off of a package and there's delicate items in that package, um, this gives you a great amount of control over how much pressure you're going to be putting into your blade. And it's far easier to manage that pressure when your finger is right on the tip as opposed to when you're back on the handle of the knife. Because when you're back on the handle, obviously there's a lot of leverage so it's very easy or it takes less effort to put more pressure down on the tip so therefore it kind of makes it harder to control this is something that is worth noting because things like your traditional draw point is a very good utilitarian general purpose blade especially for more tactical purposes but as you can see it's definitely a lot harder especially because this blade's longer for you to get onto that tip to get adequate pressure but what's really important to notice is where that tip lies so with a general purpose draw point you know that tip is very high and therefore it puts it at a rather unergonomic position and so that's kind of uh, what I mean by the Warncliffe being a little bit better to choke up on not only generally is it easier to choke up on but when you do choke up on this tip it is lying, lying lower on the handle in comparison to where your hand is so it's far easier to put your finger there choke up on the blade and have control over it as opposed to a drop point where the tip is much higher on the blade often above the center line or very close to it you'll also see this um, present in things like the spider co paramilitary series or military series 
with their kind of own, I wouldn't call this a Warncliffe blade, but it certainly takes after the Warncliffe in its styling, where it has a very, um, it has a tip that drops very low to the center of the knife. And with this, this is slightly, I would consider slightly below the center of the handle. And once again, what that allows for is a more natural position for your finger to rest on and once again get very close to that tip. Now once again, because this is a longer blade, can't quite get to the very tip, but I can get very close to the tip, allowing certainly a lot of control and directional pressure on that tip of the blade. So once again, if you're trying to do a lot more utility purposes or tasks with your knife, as I think most people do with their blades, I do think Warncliffe's make the most sense from my own personal perspective. However, once again, there are other blades for other reasons. This is obviously very much of a chef knife inspired blade on the Spidey Chef. And this is definitely designed for more of a rocking motion on kind of the back towards the center of the blade. It's designed so that you can rock back and forth on that kind of middle, mid portion of the blade. So it's definitely not as easy to get to the tip and that tip is very high. So, you know, when you look at this down the center line of the blade, the tip is extremely high and that is due to the fact that this is designed to be set down and rocked. So this is definitely a different application. Um, this is a very slicey blade, but most of the slicing is going to be on that midline to back of the blade. Whereas on something like a Warncliffe, a lot more of your slicing is going to be done further out on your blade, more towards the tip. So I think it is important to kind of notice the differences. Of course, like I said, there is some preferential to it. I do love myself some recurves, and I do think that Warncliffe's are naturally... I do think that Warncliffe's are naturally very, like, aesthetically pleasing, especially when they're tastefully done. Like, obviously, you could put a Warncliffe on any blade and make it look ugly, but I think a lot of Warncliffe knives do look pretty good, and they definitely lend their hand to a kind of tactical-esque appearance to them, especially with things like this Odeca, where it definitely looks more tactical with this kind of dual grind, which initially makes it look a little bit more tactical, but it's very purposeful, because once again, talking about Warncliffe's, the majority of your cutting is going to be done with the upper portion of the blade, so they actually do this differential um, grind, or this, they do this differential grind to give you less steel, less material, going towards the tip of the blade, as you guys can physically see here, and so that means that this upper portion or the upper 60% of this blade where more action will be seen is going to be physically thinner and subsequently more slicey. So I think that is kind of the general purpose and design or at least use intention for Warncliffe's and because of that I think that they lend their hand to being very useful, very um, controllable for slicing tasks. Once again, these are not going to be the best like for penetrating and stabbing. You're not necessarily going to want to do those things, but for slashing, cutting, and slicing, I think Warren Cliff will do a really good job. Anyways, guys, I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Um, definitely curious to see what you guys use, carry, and prefer. So as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.